Despite the fact that the city of Fall Creek, Wisconsin has a population of just 1,300, the school district in this small rural town has captured national attention. Why? Successful school branding. We're here today to find out how and why you should build your best brand. Dr. Joe Sanfilippo is one of the most passionate people you'll meet. He's the superintendent of Fall Creek School District, the author of a book on school branding, and the perfect person to kickstart a conversation on the topic. Your brand is what people say about you when you're not there. For us, there were great things happening here, but they were happening in isolation or in a vacuum that not a lot of people were seeing. My job is to make sure that everybody outside of this building knows what's happening inside of this building. Our kids are doing amazing things. Like Our kids are like launching air balloons into space and creating businesses. Nobody knew about it. And that stuff needs to be talked about. For your message to be heard, it needs to be simple, it needs to be unique to you, and it needs to be repeatable so it doesn't matter who's talking about it. Everybody can have that conversation. We use Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram as our major mediums, and then we also do some podcasting with people. The important component is making sure that the process is in place so if the medium changes, you can roll with whatever that medium change is. This community has a tremendous amount of pride in it, and I knew there was a lot of pride here. I had no idea the level until I got here. People talk about things that happened in this building like it was the greatest time of their lives, and we wanted to make sure that we celebrate that. No matter how enthusiastic leaders are, school branding cannot be successful without everyone on board. Anybody who has something that they think would, would be of benefit to get out into the public eye has the ability and the opportunity to do that. It's not like Dr. Sanfilippo is sitting in his office sending out all of the tweets. If you look at the Twitter feed, you'll see that most of what's out there is being posted by classroom teachers who all understand how important it is to put what they're doing and what their students are doing, put those amazing things out there. Social media is huge at Fall Creek, which is great for a busy parent like me because during the day I can go on Facebook and look at the third grade Facebook page and I can see what my kids are doing and working with. It's very transparent here. Fall Creek School has all the schools connected to each other so these kids are all in the same halls and they let the little kids get involved like Grant's the water boy for the football team. Their after game huddles they include their water team because they know that if they inspire them that's their future of Fall Creek football. It was pretty fun. You got to know a lot of players and the waters do get pretty heavy and stuff so. Social media is one way to do it, but they are really generous about giving kids cricket attire. Not one kid is singled out that they don't have something that maybe they couldn't afford or that wasn't a priority for their family at the time. So it really makes the kids feel like they belong. Like how many days out of five days do you wear cricket gear to school? Three maybe. That's not about wearing a cricket shirt and getting advertising. I think that just you know portrays into the Fall Creek pride. It really is phenomenal for us as parents when we send our kids to school. We want them to get an education, but we know they're getting so much more here. During cross country, when we go to compete, we know that we can like, proudly wear Fall Creek apparel. You can represent yourself in a good way, and it feels good to do that. There's like this board with like a map on it, and um, wherever you go, you can take a picture there with your Fall Creek apparel on. Everyone can see where hashtag Go Crickets has been. Being authentic with your story is truly important because now you develop this social capital and this trust for when things do go wrong. The value in building a brand is if you can make people in your community aware of what's going on, they really can tangibly understand and feel what's going on inside of the schools. And I think they feel more like part of the story. Dr. Sanfilippo is the real deal. He lives and breathes cricket pride and doesn't let any opportunity to share the Fall Creek story go to waste not even his one minute walk to work. We bought the house across the street from school for a reason. We wanted to be fully embedded in the community. My wife and I had been talking about putting something that has said Gold Crickets out. I don't think she understood what we were really talking about. I talked to our cricket manufacturing group and I said, all right guys, so I need a sign. And I need it to be really big and I need it to light up. They bring in this sign and I'm like, yes, that's what we want. My wife's warming up to it. It's going to be okay, I think, at some point. One of the things that we've really tried to change is the way that we help teachers grow. At the end of last year, they presented to their colleagues on how they got better throughout the course of the year. We live streamed it, and 21,000 people watched the live stream of our teachers teaching their colleagues what they learned throughout the course of the year. 
That's legit, right? Because now they know that the audience has changed. And when the audience changes, they do things a little differently. It's a special place and I think that what's happened with the, the branding efforts here is it's made that feeling available to people who don't necessarily get to have their feet in the door, literally. It's given that opportunity for people to get that Fall Creek feeling a little more remotely. You get an inside look at Fall Creek on a daily basis. I as a parent would never really know that stuff, but very intentionally I get to be in the class almost on a, on a weekly basis. Fall Creek is all about sharing their story and even their news in fun ways. Check out this video that went viral. I've often been asked like how do we determine whether or not school is canceled or not canceled and it really kind of comes down to this like I feel like if I can make it to school anybody can make it to school. My dad he asked me if I wanted to make a video um, because it was it was really cold out. He told me it was a school canceling video that all I needed to do was tackle him and I was okay with that. School's canceled. You're welcome. And then I just said school's canceled. You're welcome. I think I want to be a teacher just because of all the like great teachers that I've had. I think it would be a really fun like to come here and just teach. The most important component of what we do here is that we never give up the opportunity to say something great about the work that happens here. And if we do that, we can change the way people talk about schools. What story is your school district telling? If you don't know the answer to this question or don't like what you see, now is the time to make a change before someone else tells that story for you. Thanks for joining me on the road in Fall Creek. I'll see you next time. Go Crickets!